Uh, you know, I think it was you know, a good game all the way around. Um, I really like the way we, we came out and you know, close to 60% possession. And it was key. We wanted to take it away from them possession-wise. Um, you know, I really felt that um, you know, we, we, it wasn't our best game in the final third, but I thought you know, we, we dictated a lot of the game. What do you think of the goal from Fitzgerald? Great build up, you know. I thought uh, Patrick Mullins did a nice job uh, reading the play and, and, and doing a great job to keep it alive. And, and Chris did a nice job of, of, uh, of finding a little gap and scoring the goal. Jay, what what went through your mind when when Chris came out and, and got the equalizer late, and then Teal gets the, I mean, and then the penalty. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 look, we we thought we had a couple chances there to win. You know, I really felt like that the penalty was was uh, on the lead was it's close. You know, those are the ones that decide. You know, I thought uh, I thought Teal hitting the bar. You know, those were close because that's you know late in the game. And, um, it's unfortunate. You know, I thought we could have gotten more help on that. Okay. Could you talk about the second goal? Yeah. I didn't see it on film. I didn't see it yet, Frank. I didn't see it, Frank. How how tough is this for you to take and get to this? It is what it is, Frank. You get a pair to, to to lead this team and. I'm going to do it again sometime. You know, I'm going to try to get the guys back here, and this is what it's all about. Uh, with, with Robbie's point on last goal. I didn't see the goal. Well, I, I realized I was going to ask you to describe it. Okay, I didn't see it, though. I was far down here. It was yeah, down yeah. there. But you're aware the Galaxy has different attackers, Giazzi. They have uh, Landon. They have Keen. What kind of problems does that pose for you? Because they seem to be three different kind of guys, and you can't watch all three at one time, it would seem. Yeah, I thought they were good. You know, I thought I thought actually that we did a great job against them. To be honest with you, um, but they're going to get their moments. And, and I thought Zardis uh, scoring that first goal, little little bit out of nothing. We didn't do a great job clearing our lines, and um, we, we turned the ball over, and, and that cost us. And, and the second one, uh, I still haven't seen it. I, I really didn't have a good angle on it. Uh, Jay, can you talk about the differences in being in this game as a player and also as a coach? Yeah, this, it's, it's all about preparation and, and what you're bringing in. As a player, you're really focused on uh, kind of what your responsibilities are. And, and as a coach, you're, you're, it's a lot bigger, and you're trying to make sure that everyone has that same type of focus. And I thought our guys were, were really, other than the first two minutes of the game when they, they got that chance, uh, I'm telling you, I thought we had it. Jay, the emotions are obviously really raw right now. But when you look back on this, this team and on this season a few weeks from now or however long down the line, what are you going to look back on? Well, I'm proud of the guys. You know, I think there's a there's a real uh, competitiveness in there and um, a, a real willingness to, to lay it all on the line and, and be aggressive. I thought we were, were the aggressor today a lot of the time, and, and of, co of course they've got great players and they deserve everything. Um, but you know, we're you know, no one gave us a, a chance, and I thought our guys really rallied around that. And we were, you know, we were we were pretty good um, on the day, but I think our, on the year we were we were excellent this last half of the year. Uh, Jay, it's been a while since we. Seen for Patrick Mullins. Can you just talk about the decision to input him and then assess his play? Well, so we just felt like that uh, Patrick was has been flying the last couple of weeks, and um, for us getting, you know, we needed fresh legs up there. You know, we, Charlie was getting beat up pretty good, and uh, and Patrick brings a different dynamic. And, and I thought Patrick did a great job of, of battling and, and doing a good job of creating a little bit of space. Jay, just quickly, how much did the loss of Lee kind of hurt things there towards the end of extra time? Yeah, you know, it's tough. Obviously, Lee's your, Lee's your go to playmaker for, for every game. And, you know, we, we tried to get him back in there, but there was just, he just didn't have enough in the, in the, he was cramping. I and mean, he, he did a lot of work. And I thought he was really pulling the strings um, after they scored. And, and then after we scored, I thought he had, we had a lot of good chances. And, and to be honest with you, I really thought that was a penalty. Coach uh, Landon actually said that he thought you guys played better than they did on on the balance, and they were not really having their best game. Did you, was there points in the game where you thought this this is this could be our day? Yeah, when we hit the bar, and I thought you know I thought we were we were coming back. I mean, look, we knew um, they were going to be powerful when they go forward, right? Zardes and Keane and Landon are, are are dangerous, but we we're doing a good job of, of clipping the balls out. I thought our back line was really good for. Every play except for maybe the last play on Keane, which I haven't seen yet. But other than that, I thought our back line didn't make a misstep. And um, and yeah, I, thought, I really thought we, we, we you know we were prepared and we went out and we played our game. And um, yeah, you got to credit big time players when they step up. I thought Zardis, uh, that move was was a good move to get him wide. And um, and I thought Robbie Keane's finish from from just the end part of it was was pretty class. Yeah, it, it's probably hard to reflect right now, but as a competitor. Seeing Landon's last game, what he's brought to the sport, 
any, any sense of appreciation for that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I have known Landon on, on all levels as a, as a teammate for some, some, for some national team uh, where I, I was a bench warmer, he was the star. Um, and, um, and he's, he's done it the right way, all the way. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's tough uh, that we were part of his storybook ending, but the guy deserves everything that you guys read about him. And Landon Donovan's been uh, a special player, not only for the national team, U.S. soccer, uh, but you know, Major League Soccer, because he's, uh, he's, he's great on and off the field. He does everything right. Yeah, very good. Um, with that, we'll thank Coach um, for this Oh, I think coach. Oh, <laughs> um, for for those of you, uh, the Red Sox will be. Okay. Oh, good. Thanks, guys.